Okay, so here we are. Just about to put my mask on so my voice will change. With this mask, it hasn't quite worked out exactly how I wanted it to. This mask or stencil, whatever you want to call it. I'm just about to load up my airbrush with my reduced ETAC effects paint. If you remember, this is ETAC effects carbon black, one part paint, five parts transparent base or bottled water, whatever you wanted to use to dilute it with or to thin it to give it this transparent quality. Now it hasn't quite worked out exactly as I wanted this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use it in the areas how I want. So I'll be moving it around a bit. But this bit was the finger and um, I had a few problems with this in my previous one. I just noticed something here which I think might, this is a line, that just might show up through the transparency. So I want to rub that out now. Remember, you want to rub them out as soon as you see it, then you don't have to worry about it. Get rid of the get rid of those bits of if you don't want those in the paint. Pop my brush back up there. Right. As I say, normally I would take a lot longer doing things like this, but I'm doing it to show you folks what I'm doing. Now I'm just really focusing on the top of this finger and it's only going to be very light so I'm not really even aiming at it that much and I'm aiming at a distance and I just want to get a very light coverage because that's a shadow I'm going to go a little bit darker in the top and down this bottom area here Well, this is where I had some problems before, this bottom area. When I tried to freehand that, it was quite hard. But I don't want to go in too dark. So that, for me, is going to do a little bit more on that edge. Just find the edge a little bit. can go in again if I need it to be darker but that'll do for now I am going to go in down here because this was actually quite dark that'll do that'll do I can always go in again later remember it's better to build it up in smaller elements. Now you can see there, see this bit here, it's quite nice and subtle and I can always go in here where this is a bit sharp here and just erase that a bit and then go back in later. Now I just want to do this edge here of the pupil. So I'm focusing on this edge because this line isn't correct. I'm focusing on this edge. Creeping up, just going in. And creating this shadow area. Again, that'll do for now. You see that, how that's come out? Now just let it dry a little bit. Don't forget, you can always use, just push down for air and let off dry it because you don't want to go in too soon when the paint's still wet and smudge it, it'll be a shame at this point. It's always worth just taking a few steps back, being a bit more patient. 
and now I'm going to go in and do this line here. Now this bit here is showing and that's where the whites of the eye are. So just, just for a bit of insurance, I'm just going to cover that up with that magnet. You can use anything you see. Give it, give my uh, needle a bit of a clean, make sure I spray any excess off and just simply start it outside. I always start outside, I don't know if you can see that. I'm spraying down here to start off with. Make it obvious down there. See I'm spraying down here and then I pull it in and I just gently go up into this area. I just, oh, see, I've gone in and it's blown the paint, it's amazing. This is, uh, this, I'm not used to ETAC, remember, if you've seen any other videos, I'm using this paint for the first time, so, again, I'm learning as I'm you see. I'm just holding down the air now, I'm not putting any paint on, just drying that off. Now, now I'm going back in. Check my tip dry situation, that's alright. Going back in. Now the, the edge of the pupil is slightly darker. So but the whole thing is quite dark, but I can go in later and do these inner bits. Again, very carefully. Take off my magnet. Yeah, you see that's caused, that's caused an issue there. Well, it's just very slight, you can hardly see it, but where I've covered up with that magnet, that dark black, because this now has got some of this over the top of it, that dark black looks different now. Is it important? Is it not important? These are all things you've got to think about, but while I'm here, I'm just going to put that there then and give the black a bit of a use the same. Remember this up here has got that glue still on the, underneath there over that highlight so whatever I spray is not going to affect the highlight. Okay now, with any luck, if you can see that, you should be able to see that there's shadow. Can, you, can we go in a bit without it? Yeah, why is it losing that focus? What a shame. Okay, so you can see here where now the shadows from these eyelashes are these darker areas that I first did, that they show up. And I've got the shading underneath for the rest of the eye. Okay, so this is showing you, hopefully, you can now see this finger up here as well. See this? There you go. And that's giving it a nice edge, but a nice subtle tone, just a little bit. This needs to be cleaned up round here. But, if we go further out, and you can see here, on the original, you can see here, and you see there. And I'll soften that line up a little bit, just a little bit by going in, but not too much. I think that looks okay. Now, cool. So here we are, this is the starting of the, the process. This is where the state, this is what I call my initial steps and everything after this I'm going to be using freehand shields which are these any any shape that, that fits that I need and um, and just freehanding with the airbrush and we shall see 
so I hope this has helped so far let's zoom in a little bit again this is what we've got so far as you can see it's already starting to look quite nice the fingers this finger down here the nail that's got to be shaded in and any areas when you're doing these dark this this nail once I start going in there I'm doing the darkness there then I don't want to get too much overspray on the rest of it so you can actually just use your fingers to, to, to shield you know you can just use that and it gives it it'll give it a softer shield but just cover it up so you're not getting overspray going over here you're just keeping it contained and this area here where this shadow is you actually I will be actually spraying that to blend it in where on the um, original you've got the, you've, you've got this shading here you see and that's blending it in and that's fine because at the moment that's a sharp line and I don't want that so I'll be coming in there so I've just moved the camera a little bit closer because I was having trouble with it focusing when I was zooming in before and you can just see here much more clearly how the paint effect that I've just done with those few masks or stencils whatever you want to call them and um, you can see here where I've got the highlights and these have still got the uh, rubber glue or the liquid frisket or liquid masking called different names and you can also see here where the, we've got the subtle shading move out see the finger down here that I did earlier see that it's lighter at the top of the knuckle and darker here coming down to lighter and beneath and here you've got this nice shading in and around here so I hope this has helped once again going to the next stages and the next stages and um, hopefully see you again soon yeah it's me Ooh, big face <laughs> bye